He became the hero of all Titanic's heroes, gallant to the end. Once he realized that the ship was doomed, Thomas Andrews met his fate bravely, giving up his own life to save other men's wives and children. That night, his own wife, Helen, or Nellie, slept oblivious to the horror unfolding in the icy Atlantic. She never really spoke about it, um, and she n n never mentioned the tragedy. But on one occasion, I was talking to her, and she said that she hoped that the wreck would be left as memorial to all the people who died on the ship. One hundred years on, and I've come to meet Nellie's youngest child. Now in her late 80s, Vera Morrison can reveal for the first time wonderful memories and stories about the woman who captured not only the heart of Thomas Andrews, but also her father's. Another giant in the world of shipbuilding, Henry Harland of Harland and Wolf. Andrews and Harland would have known each other well. Both had courted Nellie, who came from another prosperous family, the Barbers. The story passed down is that Nellie couldn't decide on which suitor to marry until her mother made her choose. Nellie picked Thomas. On Friday, the 24th of March, 1906, Thomas proposed. By all accounts, Nellie was stunned into silence and didn't give him the answer he was so hoping for. My dear Nellie, I cannot tell you how much it grieves me to feel that I frightened or gave you any annoyance last night. You acted wisely when you had any doubt. I am alone to blame. Your ever affectionate and loving friend, Thomas Andrews. Well, eventually Nellie got over her shock and agreed to marry Thomas. This is my mother's engagement ring. My goodness. And of course this is, a, this is priceless when it comes to sentimental value. I think so. Two years after their wedding, they had a baby daughter, Elba. However, little did either know that very soon their happy world would come to an end, shattered by Titanic and Thomas's loss. Nellie was heartbroken, but chose not to focus on her own grief, but on the grief of others. I think she was totally devastated. And she was so very fond of Tommy's parents. She um, described them as being her second mother and her second father. And she was just trying to console them when she herself must have been devastated. But the story doesn't end there. Despite a broken heart, five years after Thomas's death, Nellie would marry again to none other than her old suitor, Henry Harland. They went on to have four children, including Vera. But it was only as an adult that Vera began to realize the important connection to Titanic and to her mother's first husband, Thomas Andrews. He told Nellie that when they were driving out of the shipyard one day together, that the workers were all coming out. And he said, these are my mates. Which, uh, he, he was so very popular and dearly loved, I think, by so many people. 